Hello everyone. We hope you're having an amazing day today. As you all know, Heartland is one of our favorite shows of all time. We feel like the show embraces the Canadian spirit to its core and we love that about it. It's fun, creative, and absolutely heartwarming and we cannot get enough of it. Sometimes we question ourselves and try to figure out if we like the horses so much or the show itself. In the end, we come to the conclusion that the combination of the two is the perfect match that needs to last for more years to come. It seems like the majority of the audience is on the same page with us as it's been more than 15 years since the show got released in the first place. There are only a few months left till the season 16 of the show, and we cannot believe that the time can fly by so fast. Back in 2007, when the show got first started, it was about two sisters who recently lost their mother to a tragic accident, and now they are trying to reconcile with their long-lost father while living the rancher life in Alberta, Canada. Main themes at the time were grief, starting over, forgiveness, and the desire to live and love. Fifteen years later, we don't think much has changed about the show. In fact, when we go over the previous themes, we realize that we're at a similar point in Heartland, which feels like a Heartland renaissance at this point. To be frank, up until Ty had died back in season 14, the show was doing great and was completely different from where it began. However, Ty's death changed everything since the majority of the characters had to start over and the sadness once again captivated the entirety of the show. Still, this doesn't necessarily mean that the show is in a bad place right now. As you can see, we use the word renaissance, which is an inherently positive noun that suggests the better days are yet to come. Some Heartland fans believe that this can only happen if Ty returns. We believe that this can only happen if we can understand why Ty is gone in the first place. Ty, played by Graham Wardle, was the dreamy boy next door that we all love so much. He was handsome, charming, hardworking, kind, nice, and filled with love. In order words, he was everything that a girl can ask for. However, a few years ago, two years before his actual departure from the show, Wardle decided that it's time to move on and leave Ty behind despite all of his glory. It was surprising news for both the show owners and the cast, but everyone respected his decision. Two years later, he released the following statement. I felt in my heart it was time to move in a new direction. I now host the Time Has Come podcast, and there will be a future episode coming out where I plan to share much more about my decision and my appreciation for the 14 years I've spent on Heartland. The statement was heartbreaking, but we knew that we had no other chance but to accept the truth and respect his decision. That he started a spiritual podcast in which he not only discusses his inner struggles, but also shares his experience in Heartland with fondness. It's clear that Wardle loved to be a part of the Heartland family, but he had to move on to find his inner peace. Regarding his departure, Amber Marshall, who plays the part of Amy, said the following, Graham, for the last several years, he's been going in different directions, working on different projects, and he spoke with us openly quite a few times. Of course, we're a very supportive group of people. We care about each other very much, we have been working together for over a decade. So I guess the next step was, how do we do this and honor the character the best way we can? She also claimed that she is excited to play a widower on TV as she believes it would be an interesting opportunity for an actress to explore. I actually have a close friend that was widowed and her journey was heartbreaking, but it was a real story, it was a real journey. And I think this story, even though it's going to be heartbreaking, there is that moment of strength and growth and light out of it. Well. So far, we're not sure if we did the storyline of the widower Amy. However, we know that we truly love Heartland and will continue to watch it no matter what. So far, she left her husband behind, struggled to cope with the fact that he died because of a man's stupidity, tried to be there for her daughter, and attempted to return to her regular life since the show must go on. All these are, in our opinion, very admirable for her journey. And yet, the majority of the fans believe that she needs a new love interest to fill in her shoes of Ty, which is a necessary challenge. We don't think that as fans we would be able to love a man more than Ty. However, we believe that Amy still can love someone else and we cannot wait for her to explore her options. It seems like season 16 will be the one that explores her opportunities in life and we cannot wait for it. You think Ty's departure cursed the Heartland forever? Do you sympathize with Ty regarding his decision to leave the show? What are your expectations from Heartland season 16? Do you expect to see Amy with another man? Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.